guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be making a card using my Cricut Imagine, and I'll grab the cartridge. I am going to be using the Yummy cartridge. It's really cute. It's cupcakes, birthdays, cakes, ice cream, that kind of theme to it. So this is going to be a 4x8 tall card, and I've mentioned this before, but this is the size, the standard size, of those cards that you make like picture picture cards like at Christmas or a baby announcement or whatever. That's about the size of them. So they fit in that size envelope. I'm going to set that aside. This is made out of Paper Tree Inks craft card stock. And then I've got two um, layers from that cartridge. And this brown chocolatey layer with pinks and blues in it is 3 and 7 eighths by 7 and 7 eighths. And then this honeycomb pattern with all the different colors in it is 3 and 5 eighths by 7 and 5 eighths. So we're going to go ahead and hear these two layers together. And this has got some writing in it, but the writing is going to get covered up, so I didn't worry about which way I printed this paper. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and assemble a little bits of my cards. This little, um, let me show you. This little strip here that looks like it's been punched with a border punch is actually found on that cartridge. And it is on page 33, and I cut it at one inch. And then I took this little quickie glue pen and made a line across the top and then just adhered this Caribbean baker's twine to it. And I got that tip from my crafty friend Bonnie. She's on the Scrappy Mom's Design Team. I was trying to figure out a way to adhere twine down flat and she suggested that glue so that worked out really good. Before I adhere that down I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment and for the front of my card I'm using a sentiment from the Scrappy Mom set Crazy For You and I am using the Loving You is a Piece of Cake. So we'll go ahead and stamp that. Here. And I'm just using black ink. My dark brown ink is uh, drying out, so black will be just fine. And this is going to get stamped down towards the bottom of my front here, just like that. Perfect. Where is my scrap paper? Up my ink. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere my little border down. I'm using Zig Glue Way pen and I'm just going to dab it all over. It takes a little bit longer to dry. You just dab it around. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere this just above my sentiment, right about there. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Try to get it more centered. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim off this excess piece here. So we can go ahead and adhere this to the front of our card. Okay, so there's the front. Now I have a scalloped circle that I just took the Cricut Imagine has got some stock images on it and one of them is a scalloped circle so I took that and it's cut at four inches and then I filled it with this pattern paper also from the yummy cartridge and I'm going to go ahead and hear this down I 
and that's going to go right here. Get over a little bit. There we go. And then here's my cake, and this is from page five of the handbook. I cut it at four inches, and I'm going to go ahead and pop this up. Ah. And my crafty friend Sylvia sent me um, some goodies a while back, and she had these sticky doos in there. They're foam circles. And I believe, I, I've seen them actually at Hobby Lobby, but I've never tried them out. And oh my gosh, I love them. They are really thick and sturdy. And I love how easily the backing comes off, because sometimes the backings of these things can be stubborn. They come off really super easy. And I just really, really liked them. I just used them for the first time when I ran out of my other foam squares. So thank you, Miss Sylvia. I love them. Ah. Okay, so this is going to go right here in the center of our scallop circle. And now for my finishing touches, I have a couple little bows from this same twine. And I am going to grab my Scotch quick dry adhesive. I like to adhere my twine bows down with this. And I'm going to stick one right here on my cake, and I'll trim up the little in just a second and then I have another one that I'm going to stick right here in the center of my line of twine and I'm just going to give those a second to dry now I have some of these rhinestones here that I got a while back at Michael's in the dollar section that I thought would be a perfect, they match the twine really well. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab, let's see, I don't know if I have enough of the darker ones. I used that on my other card. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, yep. Oh, I'm missing one. So I'm going to go ahead and do the lighter color because I used the darker color on my other card and I used them all up. And I'm just going to stick these down right in the center of these little flower shapes here. And I'm just using my paper piercer to pick them up. It's just easier for me. I kind of got off. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim up my tails a little bit. Ugh, this piece of twine keeps sticking to me. And then I was probably going to stamp the inside with the the Happy Valentine's Day from this stamp set, but I'm going to leave it blank for now just in case I don't end up using it for Valentine's Day, but could very well be used for a Valentine's Day or a birthday card. So anyways, that's my card for today. I'm going to show you close up. So thanks everybody for watching and have a blessed day.